It's gotta be right out here now. We'll have him right where we want him. Right there he is! Hello everyone, welcome back to the Hunter Call of the Wild. This is the Hunter DD33 and today, I'm gonna show you what happened when we got our giant diamond kudu. But first, we have a bunch of warthogs out here. We're gonna see if we can't get on one of them and take a shot. Oh, holy, we just dropped him. I don't know if that's the right one or not, but we absolutely crushed that warthog at over 400 yards out. So it's looking like that warthog was about 405 yards out and we took the shot. And now I'm gonna show you where we're at, where all the action happened and where we found the giant diamond kudu. All right, so if you look at the map, you can see we're right here by this water hole and we're by the central savannah. This location right exactly here. Actually, I'll move the marker there for now because I know where the warthog is. I can see it. I'll remark it in a second. But right here, right on this marker is the exact spot that we spotted that giant diamond kudu the first time. We ended up stalking him and tracking him in a circle here. We lost his tracks, took a shot at a wildebeest. And finally, we ended up tracking him to this water hole here, and we ended up taking the shot right here as he was passing this ridge here. But before this all happens, some really cool things happen with some wildebeest, and I'm gonna show you everything that happens right now. I don't know where this warthog came from. Oh, no way you didn't. We're empty. I think we got an intestine hit in him. Yeah, because if we hit body, he'd still be running out there and we should be able to see him going across this open field. But it doesn't look like that's the case. So now we need to hop down and go take a look at this warthog. And then we're going to go over and go take a look at the one that we took a shot at over 400 yards out there. Yep, you can see he was vital hit. So I guess we hit him a little bit better than we thought. We just hit him a little bit far back. Might have actually been a lung and liver shot, to be honest. And he should be down right over here. Yep, there he is down right there. He ran probably 60 yards. But let's pick him up. I hope our consecutive harvest is still at 100%, but I'm going to say it's probably going to be at zero. Watch. Oh, no, we're still at 100%. Awesome. I don't know how we're still at 100% because I know we hit a couple of other wildebeest the other day. We ended up getting a, yeah, basically what would have been an intestine shot. That was a pretty nice one. That probably would have been close to a gold. He scores 47 total score of 671. Well, here he is. First question is, is it the right one? And second question is, how far was the shot? I don't think this is actually the right one, to be honest. By looking at it, it doesn't look that big. But the fact that we made that far of a shot, that was pretty cool. It was tough to tell which one was the big one. Anyways, let's pick it up. This was actually a female, but we made a 430 yard spine shot on this female so that was a pretty awesome shot i'm really happy with that shot even though we didn't get the big warthog it was tough to tell which one was him so i'm pretty sure it's got to be this one so we just had to take a choice and we chose the wrong one anyways we made an awesome 430 yard shot and now let's get back to the hunt i'm really looking forward to taking some far shots with this seven millimeter but first i think we're going to see if we can't sneak up a little bit closer and take out this big kind of rare looking wildebeest. I don't know if he's actually rare or not. Let's see if, how far away they are first here. Yeah, okay, that's the one right there. He's only 100 yards out, so he's pretty close. So here we go. Oh, we dropped him. Look, at there they go, there they go. I don't know what happened on that time. But they are flying. Definitely hit that one pretty good. All right, let's zero in for 300. Now, what they do is they go up on top of this hill. Oh, drill that one. Holy, here they come. They're coming back. They're coming back. Okay, let's see if we can find that big four easy. Where is he? Come on. Just drilled that one. Piled them right up. Holy, that was an awesome shot. That was a long ways out there too. Watch 
try and find that four easy, but I don't know where he is. Is that him? There he is. Come on, come on. Hammered him, but I don't think it's hit. I think we got a flesh hit on it, unfortunately. Just messed up a huge goal, possibly. Oh, drilled that one. Might have hit a touch low, but definitely, oh no, he's hit hard. 50% health, yep, he should go down as well. So we should have a couple of decent ones hit over there. But let's go over here really quick and go see if this is a goal potential. This one for some reason seems very exotic to me. I don't know if it's like because it's a light colored one or what, but it should be like a decent sized gold, if I'm not mistaken. Gold scores 32.2, so I wonder how much the other one's going to score. That big black one that we hit at probably 400 yards out. I would imagine we're shooting close to 400. All right, here he is. I think this is actually another goal potential wildebeest, depending on how good we hit it. That was a 159 yards out running shot. And we just absolutely crushed that wildebeest. We got, okay, so it looks like we got stomach, liver, and right lung on that. And 159 yards out. So pretty awesome shot. Apparently we shot better than we thought because they're just piled up everywhere here. I mean, I thought we were having pretty good leads on them, but I wasn't seeing them fall. But there were just so many of them that, I mean, how are you going to keep track? Let's pick this one up. I don't even know what, this was actually a female. And we got lucky on that one. We actually made a running spine. Oh, there's one piled up right there. As a matter of fact but I thought we had another big one out here as well unless this is the big one this isn't even the biggest one but we got another gold oh my god 361 yard heart shot heart and right lung shot on the trot at 361 yard gold nine and he was a black colored one even though it says common this one looks like it's more dark it's definitely darker than the other one but total score of 866 I feel like she's glitched out we should be hitting her is she running back at us what is going on well we definitely didn't miss that time holy just completely piled her up that time this one was definitely goal potential at least I think if it's the right one but I don't think we hit it good enough. This isn't even the same one. This is not the, the four easy. Where is the four easy? I know we hit it. But look at that shot though. We barely missed the heart on that. 397.70 yards out. Looks like we got basically shoulder blade and right lung on that. Total score of 739. So he probably would have been a, a good size gold as well. Only one shot we hit this female. At 284 yards out. And we got lung and spine on her. But yeah, I guess we missed every single time. I don't even know where we would have hit. It's just a spring box. It is a big one. It's definitely goal potential. But there's nothing we can do about it. We're just going to use a 270. And here's our gold spring box, which would have been for surely a goal. It scored 90. But like I said, I'm not too concerned. It's a springbok. It is a beautiful animal, but see, the shot was actually 233 yards out, and we got a lung and spine shot, so perfect shot. Oh, here we go. We're getting them out to the open. This might be our chance. There they are. There they go. Where is the one we want? Oh, that's a nice one there. All right, I tell you what. Even though this isn't the one that we hit, it's a big one, and we're going to go for a shot. <laughs> Dropped him. Well, you don't need to track that one too far. All right, Razor, sounds good. I'll get in touch with them. 34.6 gold, total score of 883. And that was actually a trotting spine shot. So hit a little bit high, but still perfect shot. 232 yards out. And this is our third gold wildebeest of the hunt. This is another common. It seems like they're all common, even though they look like they're very dark color. 34.6, I believe this is my biggest wildebeest so far. 
There goes the lesser kudu. That looked like a pretty nice one, actually. Oh, it is a big one. Okay, there's only one set of tracks right there, and there's... Jackpot. Found him. He cut along the edge of this brush road. That's why we didn't see him when we were sitting there trying to sneak along the edge of that field. All right, well, since I can't see this cooter right now, I'm going to take a shot on this wildebeest out here. Let's see if we can't make a heart shot, actually. Should be about 200 yards out. Ah, uh, we definitely hit it good, but we missed the heart. It's down. Yeah, look, this is a different kudu. It was right next to the other one, though. See, look at the weight difference. 170 to 200 pounds on this one. The other one weighed, like, 100 pounds. 70 to 100 pounds. Where did we hit? We got a double long shot. We were just a little bit too high. Just a touch too high. She scored a 20.9. Total score of 583 on that. 197 yard double long shot. Now, where is the next kudu track? Look how far away the tracks are on this kudu. Almost 150 yards apart. We're hot on the pursuit of a pretty nice kudu right now. Actually, it's bigger than pretty nice. It's a giant. At this point, we're just trying to run him down and kick him up, possibly. Because he is way too smart to try and track down. Yeah, the big gold I got just now at 455 yards out, that was a level 3 very easy. And that was a gold, so I couldn't imagine how big this one's going to be. Look, look how far away his track is right there. Come on. He's got to be right out here now. We have him right where we want him. Right there he is! There he is! I don't know how far away that is. Don't go over that hill. Please don't go over the hill. Oh! He must... Oh, no, we hammered him. Got him! I was going to say, he must have been further than 300. Because we were going for hard on him, and I... And there he is down. You can see the size of his horn right there just looks like an absolute monster kudu. Biggest one I've seen so far, for sure. And look at the lighting. Wow, that's so awesome. That's a giant. I think that's a giant. Like I said, it's definitely the biggest one I've ever seen so far. Wow. That is a giant. Wow. I'll take it away so now, so you can see it a little bit better. Let's pick him up. Diamond! Yes! Holy! 259 yard left lung liver shot on a diamond kudu. Look at the size of that kudu. Holy, 973 score on him. Oh my God, that's a giant. 33.5 total score of 973 and that's my first diamond in Africa and I'm so glad that you guys were all here to see that that's crazy that that's just absolutely crazy so all right guys well I think that's gonna be a pretty good to end this video so I hope you guys enjoyed it if you liked it please give it a thumbs up also I wish you guys luck at getting some giants out here in Africa and thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time go with that and let's pick him up oh my god a 210 scoring diamond white tail buck i can't believe he was that big